Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGangie, your humble host, welcoming you aboard. And as the description said, I'm seeking your opinion. Now, let me tell you, if you're a jerk to me in the comment line, I will try not to be a jerk back, but I can't promise, so do on to others. I'll do the same. How about that? All right. Since people have found me on Opera News, which I'm very happy to be part of, since people have found me here, I haven't done anything that actually interacted with the unsettled souls, my, my listeners. Um, so I want your opinion on this. Let me know. Give me some chatter in the comment line. Here's my personal story about what Biden suggested today, what he mandated today. And that is that we should all have to get our vaccines. If you employ more than 100 people, <clears throat> there's no exemptions. Yeah, that's what I want. That's the first thing I want to comment on. No exemptions. I can't think of anything in medical history that has no exemptions. No exemptions is a bit much. What if you're a cancer patient? Yada, yada, yada. What if you have... Whatever. That, that's the first question. Comment line. Second of all, and I'm rushing this because I'm trying to get it done in 10 minutes. I'm not being impatient. Welcome aboard. Thank you for finding the show. Here's my story. Give me a comment on this. I am a 48-year-old man who... Had, my mom and my dad both died at the age of 69. My dad was two years older. My dad died of gallbladder, gallbladder and liver cancer, even though he almost never drank. That's a whole other topic about food and ingredients. Can't fit it in 10 minutes. <clears throat> my mom died of sepsis. My dad had heart trouble pretty much from about 35 onwards. Again, he died at 69. My grandfather died in his late 70s of a stroke, which isn't that unusual. My grandmother, however, on my mom's side, had heart trouble her whole life. <clears throat> now, again, stay with me before you comment. <laughs> Wait till I'm done. Thank you. Um, on my dad's side, we don't know about his father because he was absentee before my dad was born. But we know that his mother had heart trouble. She didn't die of a heart condition. I believe she died of cancer. Um, but she had a heart condition. <clears throat> Back to what I said at the beginning. I am... A 48-year-old man who, thank you, God, not because of any other reason than God himself, thank you, God, I'm not on anything. I don't have a heart condition. I could go snowboarding tomorrow if I had somebody to go with me. That's another video, too. Everybody, everybody that ever did anything fun with me is gone. But that's its own video. We'll leave it at that. I could go snowboarding tomorrow. Okay? I I could go in a mosh. I go in mosh pits. It shows. I'm, 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 I think I'm being one of the journalists who are... Alright, it is. <clears throat> I am one of the journalists who are going to be going into the Exodus Testament Mormon Angel, uh, Death Angel show. In Cleveland on October 30th. I'm covering that show. 48 years old. Looking forward to the pit. Bring it. I'm not on anything. I allegedly smoke a little bit of weed. And I do take a handful of supplements. I, I'm not going to go into all of them. Uh, quickly. Um, I may, may forget... Uh, sometimes probiotics, I don't have any right now. Garlic, 
fish oil, echinacea, cinnamon, emergency, sometimes usually twice a day, calcium, I watch it because of my age, women should do it daily after asking your doctor, and uh, if I said vitamin D, I might be selenium, <clears throat> I think that's all of it, iron, that's all of it, that is all of it, I take that every day. You need to know a lot of stuff. Echinacea is a freaking flower. Relax. I don't take... I take a handful of supplements. I don't take... I'm not on anything. Why? This is what I'm asking the comment for. This is why I ask you to listen. Why? Why would I risk... putting something in my body that has been linked to a heart condition in some people, not most people. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm probably going to be fine. Most likely. Yeah, why would I do that? Well, what if you catch it? Okay, we've only got a few minutes left here. I'm going to hurry up even quicker. I'm pretty sure I had it. I was a DJ in a nightclub in North Canton, which is very close to Cleveland International, or Cleveland International Airport and uh, Akron Canton Airport. We got it. I gave it to virtually everyone on the second floor where the DJ booth was, and another person named Sam, who was bartending, she gave it to almost everyone on the first floor. We were probably among the first people in Ohio to get it. Then, later on, I got an upper respiratory infection that the doctor on the phone said, if I hadn't already had COVID, that I most certainly had it then. And that I should not come in unless I had a problem. So, I went on the Trump train from Ohio to, I think, 26 counties. I, it was crazy where we went. I went to D.C. twice on a bus. I went to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania on a bus. I interviewed and interacted with thousands of people. I am a real estate photographer, and I sometimes do gig work. I grab all those apps, all of them. That means that either I have the most amazing immune system in the world and that being around, I would say, tens of thousands of people since the outbreak of COVID that I magically didn't catch it, which is certainly not the case. Come on. Or I had it. We know it. Come on. I had it. I made it. Thank God. I'm not boasting. Thank you. I, I, do take, take, I do think after asking your doctor, you should take vitamin D because most of the people that are having really bad problems with this, beyond having uh, pre-existing conditions or obesity or something, they're also deficient on vitamin D. But I've got a minute and a half left, so I need your comments on all this stuff, please. It's an interaction video. We do that here at The Correct Views. Why would I take it? Why would I risk it? I've already had the damn thing. I'm currently not a risk or I'd already be sick. What if you give it to somebody else? Okay, let's answer that question real quick. <clears throat> I got a minute. I can do that in a minute. <clears throat> I got this. Hold on. Those who have been vaccinated can still catch it. As a matter of fact, they're saying it's very likely that you will, but the symptoms won't be as bad. So if the vaccinated can still catch it, then the vaccinated can still give it to those who weren't able to get the vaccine. So if those who weren't able to get the vaccine are still able to get it from those who were vaccinated who may have it, then why am I harming anybody who couldn't get the vaccine if I get it and give it to them? I need your comments. Good night, friends. God bless. Hit share. Hit subscribe. How about share? And then share. You have no idea how much share helps.